Wade, today is the happiest day of my life, the day I get to become your wife. I cannot wait to marry my best friend in just a few short hours. These last four years have been nothing short of amazing with you. Our time together is some of the best time and I couldn't imagine it with anyone else. You mean the world to me and I feel so blessed and honored that God has chose you for me to spend the rest of our lives together. Because of you, Wade Edward Hinkle, I am a better person. You're the most thoughtful, kind-hearted, strong man I have ever dreamed of having for my life partner. I'm so excited to begin our life together and start building our family. I love you with my whole heart, Warren K. Warren K, I can't believe it, it's finally here. We've made it to our wedding day and I'm completely full of emotions. I am so excited, nervous, and anxious and I cannot wait to see your beautiful face walking down that aisle. I know I'm going to lose it. With full hearts, we begin the rest of our lives as one. I always take myself back to the first night we met at Grandma's house. I was beyond nervous, even the bottle of red wine didn't help. You showed up with your long blonde hair and blue eyes and a cooler full of beer. I immediately fell in love with you. I had to make sure you felt the same about me, so I knew a couple of $2 minor league tickets left at the will call window would do the trick. There are a couple months after I faced one of the most difficult life-changing events in my life. That same day, you showed up with two tickets to an FGL concert, which absolutely blew me away. I knew from that moment on, I was gonna spend the rest of my life with you, which is also why I agreed to carry a 60 pound cooler full of beer, 30 miles with James by hand. You are my best friend, the one I have always wanted in a life partner in my future wife. You are the most caring, compassionate, selfless person I've ever known. I love that you challenge me to be the best man I can be every day. I love that you care so much about us and our families and our friends. And I love that you never miss a thing. You're always on time. You always give the best you can on everything you do. Your love is constant. It's unconditional and I am so blessed to be marrying you today. I can't help but to think that our future together and so many memories are ahead of us. I choose you, and I choose you every single day from this day forward. Cheers, babe, to my most beautiful bride. I love you, Lauren Kay, your hubby, Wade. So it is my privilege to introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Wade Hinkle. You may kiss your bride. She is an inspiration to many and somehow someone I now look up to. She's such a caring, selfless person, but everyone who knows her would say nothing less. One of the best parts is my sister is still my sister and Wade and the relationship didn't need to change for one another. She just finally gets to be the boss of somebody. Right, Wade? When I was diagnosed with cancer as the pandemic hit, she was the first one nailing me with questions to ask the doctor and sending me the best care packages, including an iPad and even raising over $7,000 in fundraiser shirts for me to, to help with the endless bills all the way across from the country. Now that's a sister. I remember a few years ago when we'd call each other up mid-season, typically conversations, you know, we're venting uh, sessions about baseball and about our seasons. And anyone knows about the minor league grind knows that it's not the most lavish lifestyle, but this conversation in particular was a little bit different. 
He told me about this girl that he met named Lauren and how incredible she was. How they had stayed up talking till the sun came up. And it's kind of funny because I particularly remember that conversation, I don't even think had the word baseball in it. Fast forward to this year, I would call Wade up. And again, like normal conversations, it would start with a little bit of baseball chalk talk. But then that conversation would switch and we'd start talking about life and life after baseball. But while talking to him, it's hard not to notice the happiness that he would have in his voice when he would talk about Lauren and their life together and their future together. And Lauren, I can assure you one thing, you're getting a husband that is completely selfless, 100% supportive, and about as genuine as they come. I love both you guys. Congratulations. Please raise your glass. Cheers. It was kind of when you know you know things for you guys. I never doubted or questioned my sister once. Now let's raise a glass to the new Mr. and Mrs., to a happy future filled with love, a lifetime of joy, and lots of babies and cake. You are now Hinkley Ever After.